Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods for episode 6. This episode I'm going to just start with some industrial foregoing. That's a relatively slow process and we'll also see if we can upgrade some of the machines that we've built from silence mechanisms. So let's get started. Oh, before I do that, I have been AFK fishing, so we've got a fish farm, some, some rewards from the fish farm. So let's have a look at those first of all. So as you can see, I laid out some um, more boxes here. So we'll have a look at what's in here. I've no idea what's in them because I haven't opened them up. Oh, we've got another axe. That's good, actually, as it happens. Let's press just simply sorting those out. We've got a fishing rod this time. Now, that we didn't get last time. So that's a, a new one. That's good. And here we've got another sword. That's also good. Let's just do it like this. Probably the quickest way of doing it. And then we got our boots, which we also didn't get last time. We made some of our own, so that's good. We got those. We got two more ingots. That's also good. And this time we got another hoe. So we've got we're doing all right for hoes. <laughs> we've got plenty of those. So let's just break these up because I think is what it wants. So I'm holding down the alt key and mining those up. We got all six of those boxes. Also from Corel tombstones we get some of these um uh what's it called tablets let's put those into there like that i'm not sure i think i've got them in the other place yes i have so in the tablets here i've got some more of these and sometimes this time i've started to get some interesting ones so we've got a buried treasure that's interesting i'm just wondering if i, if I teleported there i would die because it's at zero <laughs> And it's also quite a long way away. We've got an igloo. We've got a monument. Uh, the same monument as it happens twice. We've got a shipwreck. And another igloo. Now, is that the same igloo as this one? Yes, it is. And then we've got a pillager outpost. Uh, an entity, a second entity. I think they're different ones. I think I had an entity before. Oh, no, I didn't, actually. So that was... So that's a possible way of getting to the end without having to kill the Ender Dragon. Something to test, I guess. And let's have a look in here. Uh, of course, this is time to upgrade some of these barrels, I reckon, because this one's full and this one's full of fish. So we could uh, make that into a gold one. This one's got the excess products in it from here. So let's click. Oop, didn't mean to do that, actually. Let's get those out of there. Woo! You might have noticed I also got a second sword. Let's put that up there and then shift click those into there. So we've got those into there. And I could take this driftwood. Uses of driftwood I, we went through before is actually the set, they're equivalent to a logs. So you can do uses and you can make oak planks. So they're equivalent to oak logs as it happens. I want that one as well. So let's get that out of there like that. You'll notice I've got a second sword now. I had captive dreamed before with the sharpness five and the looting four in it or oh, this time i've got the what's it arachide sphere basically it's bane of anthropods 10 mending and looting five that means we and it's also got fire aspect three so it sets them on fire and um basically kills spiders in one hit no problem whatsoever we might be making use of that because i need some more string and of course bows have increased I did a little repair on these two, but they're not enchanted. Bit of waste of time, really. More water, of course. More saddles. More enchanted books. So we've got Gourmand 3. I think that's... I'm not sure which mod that comes from. There's, there's a whole load of mods similar to the ones I had before, which were the... Um, which, let's have a look. 4 pal 2. So that, was a, that one's basically from... It was CoFH Core. And now they've got this new mod called, I think it's Insorcelation or something like that, with a whole load of modded bits and modded, um, no, enchantments. So let's go back inside because it's night time and have a quick sleep. And I'll see you in a second when, I've, when it's morning. And I also got a horse who seems to have managed to get himself into the chicken pen. I have no idea how he managed to do that. <laughs> let's just uh, tie him down. I've got a lead on me here, so let's just capture it and have time to a post come back you cool been difficult right so he's not going to go away now and chickens have been growing feathers we'll need some feathers for them one of our 
up and coming projects. So I've basically been breeding the feathers. Oh, I want to, don't want to hit the horse when I'm doing this, but hopefully I don't have to. So I'm just hitting these posts here. So you get some more chickens. Oops, missed twice. Fortunately, I don't think they. Two more to go. Yep. And they're laying they're laying eggs like crazy. These chickens anyway. So. Uh, no. So we'll have a good set of chickens. Also, I did get beetroot from last thing, and I did make the inferium seeds. And I didn't don't think I showed you that. Oops, I hear somebody that the mob around, but he must be underground. So we have to go and clear out those caves at some stage. Now we've got some decent armor and some decent weapons. It does sort of make sense. Of course, I'm basically farming stuff up here um, for the. Oh, oh, bad potato for the mobs and I've actually made another canvas bag so I can put the stuff into here so if I shift click this into here you'll see we get that that stuff going into there so this is my trading bag that when I go to the village let's go to these as well now I really could do with a bit of a magnet now I think I've got a magnet weapon somewhere along the line which if, if it's in my hot bar then it picks stuff up so we want to get rid of oh, the inferior essences in here isn't it and I've got these treasure chests which I haven't opened up last time they were not too bad let's have a look so if I sort the inventory we get a chance to see what's coming in so anything in this bottom row will, will come in there so we received what did we receive that time I don't see anything must have received something or other maybe it was something that I didn't see before anyway it doesn't matter let's have a look let's open these four so this time we got oh we got a compass that's good some gunpowder a book and something else that wasn't here before I don't see what it is maybe it's redstone let's sort that and then do that again for these I think these are just giving us buckets oh okay that's oh it's giving us all sorts of things including carrots are oh, great oh, that's actually not too bad let's just shift click those until they get rid of that stuff got the bucket that's actually good because I needed to make another one um, let's shift click this into here for to get rid of some stuff from that I've got one four more of these things to make let's just sort this out now there is in fact I think in this mod pack we have got uh, another compass what's it called I think it's biome compass so we've got some charcoal, some rotting flesh, some clay, and some something else. Not sure what we got. Anyway, I'll sort this out and come back in a second. Right, most of my inventory is now cleared out, so that's good. We can get that. And there was a duplication bug as well. I just by accident discovered in this chest here. I've got two creative dream swords because I put one in here, and I think it was to do with a, a, a trade with a travelling uh, trader, and he basically gave me what looked like five diamond armors I put the diamond armor on the horse it was the same horse we found last time um, and when I did it something happened and it, I got a duplicate of everything I did actually make these two solar panels I've also got five silkworms which we can lay down uh, but I probably don't need to this one <laughs> produces enough string for any of our needs so maybe it's not a good idea I need to find a way of picking up that stuff and I think um, vacuum hoppers and the like do exist but they require ender pills and haven't got any yet but in here I have got some stuff prepared and the one I want to do today is first of all is this one so this is um, <laughs> you can't tell but it's actually the it's from industrial foregoing I want to start doing this and it should be the pity machine frame which is this so wood and blocks of redstone with that one let's just get rid of actually this one like this and this one should be the um, latex extractor to extract latex I think that's where has it gone to dissolution fluid extractor this one uh, it said start optional power if you saw that uh, so this was the pretty machine frame with um, some iron ingots a, a piston two cobblestone and that so we can make that as well so let's do that and the one below it in this cabinet here was for the next one which is to do the extraction but we need a bucket of um, latex which we haven't got yet so let's first of all make the 
those machine frames so we can probably use this to do it from here of course so we should get two of those and then we should be able to make the fluid extractor see power optional we can click that into place we should get one of these so what you do with that is you take some wood but not plank so we need some logs and I guess that we have to have proper logs well, here I've got some oak logs I've got lots of this let's just take two of these out of here and let's go and put it down I, what it would be sensible for me to do now you see this keeps producing so that's nine pieces of string in that one with the thing I need to find a sensible place to do this for the time being I'm just going to do it here get rid of that break up the grass get it out of the way maybe we'll just fill up this corner with a piece of dirt I picked up no we won't bother there's enough space to do what I want to do here first of all so we put this guy down and he faces the way that you want where you put the logs so you basically have to do it from the the wrong way I would like to put yes I think that's good because beside that we're going to have to put a block placer here and then we need to extract the fluid out of here into the um, next machine so all we need to do here is put down a block of wood and it'll start you'll see the pattern will start to break up now to speed this up power is optional so let's give it some power we've got two solid panels on here tier two that we've built those before so it should and then here we should start to get power as you can see it's actually going up so a tier two is looks like it's fine i think it is going up and going down again so we're getting latex in here at, re latex at a reasonably at a reasonable rate so when we got one bucket of latex when it's full in other words we can then make the next machine so we'll have to wait for that you've got no choices what's up in here oops oh, i see <laughs> me that time i don't think me it was me the last time but i'm not 100 percent sure this is obviously not a very good place for a farm so what I would like to do with that is to make another farm, is to make an automated farm. So while that's doing this, we shall have a look at the next set of machines which are prepared and in here if I've got enough space. Tell you what. Let's just put a chest down. Doesn't matter where really. So we can get rid of everything in our inventory here. And then we could just take out this, this stuff in here that I want to, to use for the next one. You'll see I've got a diamond in use here, so that's for the for the crusher. So what we need to do this. So this was um, at silence machine. So in fact, I'll just go to do at silence. And what we want to make is the. Um, I think I just did my lips then didn't I I think it was the advanced machine frame so I need an alloy machine frame so for that I need some business steel ingots some redstone alloy I think I've got everything we need for that yes we have got this I think we made that last time so it should be ready now to do this one so let's get the this one out of here oh, no, I need glass four pieces of glass ah yes I didn't have enough glass last time where is my glass I know I put it in here yeah there was too much to prepare last time for all of this stuff anyway so let's do this now we should be able to do one of these and then the uses of this we would like to do the next one I'd probably like to do a, a battery box because that's especially good for the machines when they when we're with solar power so they'll keep overnight over, keep running we've got a uh, the crusher so there's two recipes for the crusher there's this one using the basic crusher well since we've already built the basic crusher we might as well use this one um so we should have the business steel in this maybe not actually as i think i've only got one of these left so we need to make another one of those so we'll look at the recipe so we need this so it's two iron three coal and one bismuth or dust or st something or other ah now we got an advancement of course well i say of course no guarantee of getting advancements oh yes i've already made some here look plenty so we should be able to make this now so let's go out here 
Uh, it's night time. I would like to avoid night time if it's possible. We will lose the power in this machine, but that doesn't matter very much. And of course, I need a pick. And it doesn't matter which pick I'll pick. Let me just press zoom on the maps if there's anything near. No, there's nothing near. So that's okay. We can break this quite happily. If while I'm doing this, I find an Enderman, I'm going to go off and get the Enderman. That should have ended up in here. Yes, it does. <laughs> so I have been processing this, the ores as well. So now we should be able to craft the... Of a, in fact, if I do the uses of the, the basic crusher, we should be able to make the use of the crusher. So that should be what I'm missing. Oh, wrong redstone alloy. Oh, yeah, I've only got one. So if I've got another one, it'll be in here. Good. Let's try that again. So now we've got our basic crusher. More crushing. Ha -ha. So we can put this one down just on top of the hopper here, like this, as we had it before. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, what have I got with me? This is an infinity bow, and it doesn't need... Oops, there we go. He's going to drop down here any second like that. Uh, and it's got power 4 on it, so it's a fairly powerful bow, even though he's got armor on it. So we're um, life is improving in terms of mob grinding. What's up here? <laughs> How did that zombie manage to pick up 16 eggs 24 eggs wow so I've got a golden chest plate from him um, let's have a look what have we got I haven't got my swords with me let's go and get a sword maybe just for a bit of fun where did I put those I put those in here didn't I I think I would like the this one the Bane of Anthropods sword with me I've got my normal sword here that's good and I've got a bow I don't need arrows because it's got infinity on it and true shot too so we don't actually, do, just infinity basically does it. So let's rush out over here. I've got a little bit of protection that I built up here. So for this little bit of protection, we should, and normally what I do is I come in here, stand underneath this platform here. There's a creeper over there. Oh, here we've got a spider already. It's going to come and attack me. So this is a good test for this weapon. Oh, hello. <laughs> It's not so useful if he's up there, is it? Where's he gone to? I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Maybe I'll just come out here like this and then he should jump down here and we can get him that way then. There we've got another one. Actually, quite a few of them, as you can see. I'm just going to get rid of this guy as well at the same time and watch out for that creeper. Now, the creeper we can deal with the bow no problem. So let's get that into operation. I didn't actually die that time, but he did second. Really weird, there's lots of spiders around here at the moment. What I'm looking for, of course, is an Enderman. And if we see an Enderman, we're going to rush out and, uh, and attack him. And then we're going to rush back here. We've got some sp skeletons over there. That should be reasonably safe. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah, got rid of those two, didn't I? And one go. Yep. <laughs> Very effective. Didn't quite get kill this one last time, but this one will. I should really be looking at my mini map, see if anything is coming around here. Oh, Enderman, there we go. Yep, you see me. Now he shouldn't be able to get too near me, so we can have a go at him. Where's he gone to? Oh, he's over there. <laughs> he's still on fire for some reason. There we go. <laughs> right, got him. And baby skull is no problem.
So how many ender pearls did I get? One. That's a bit of a shame. Anyway, that's what my current game is for, for mob grinding. But we can actually set up a mob grinder. And that was one of the things I wanted to do today. So we'll just get rid of these two guys and we can... Wow. <laughs> that I didn't expect. So let's get on and do that. Pick up these bits and pieces of skeleton over there. We'll just sort him out as well. I think I killed the cow at the same time there. Another underman. Oh, brilliant. Let's get him. Now, have I got enough space in here? Yes, I have. I can go up here. I think he might be safe enough. He's raised his head, so we Which one did I just use then? Yeah, that's the one I want. The, f the looting five one. There's a mob over here somewhere. Right, he dropped it in the pool there. And the, and the glass, a grass block. I think that was it. It's actually coming up to daylight, so maybe I'll just go and harvest the harvest the, the deposits of what the mobs have been dropping. They should be over here. As you can see, the XP is getting dropped over here. There's a bow, and there should be some oops. What other enderman? No, how about that? Yeah, let's see if we can get him. Yep. We can run over somewhere safer. They're probably not safe enough this place. We'll have to just look at it. He's on fire, so he jumps around like crazy. <laughs> Where is he going to? There he is. Right, you dropped another one ender pearl. I've got three ender pearls at the end of the day. It's not too bad, I guess. Sometimes you get five. So what have I got over here? I'm just picking up the XP. Some more drops down here, as you can see. There should be no more mobs around now. Either. There's another enderman, look. Or did he just disappear? No, it might have been a tree. So that's it. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on until I get enough ender pearls for my next project. The next project I need ender pearls. Well, actually, there's a couple. We need ender pearls for um, basically hoppering stuff into into a um, thing like like this. For example, we can pick up items, um, and I can also make wireless modems, and I want to do some of that. So we can set up a GPS. For that, I need about five different ender pearls. For, well, I need four plus one per um, turtle. That's the intention. So, right, I'll sort it out this and come back in a second. Right, I've sorted out my inventory bit. There is something I did get on one of the mobs was a zombie head. Um, I haven't sorted my inventory completely out. But the zombie head has a use. So we need to basically make a gravestone. Now to make a gravestone, we need some of these gravestone powders. I think we need four. Well, actually we need a few plus stones. We'll make about, make eight. And then we need some stone. And I think I've got stone in here, yes I have. And we just combine those two together. And we should get this black marble like that. Now I get an, uh, an achievement, black and white. So I've got the black, I'm going to put those back in again, we don't need those at that. So now we can make this a gravestone. Now that's what we actually need to do to do this, use this teleportation. So let's have a quick look at gravestones. Or maybe even better, let's have a the uses of this. So we can make various different gravestones. So we can make a tombstone, for example. And you can actually na label this. So let's make, um, that's not with black, that's with white marble. Crafting and grieving, what's that one? Okay, so we do the same thing with, with white marble. Actually, let's make one of those for fun. So it needs four pieces of bone meal. I've probably got loads of bone meal. Or certainly this. I think, so look, can we put this through the crusher? I've forgotten whether we can, no, we can't put it through the crusher. But we can 
make boom wheel out of it. So let's do that. I think it's going to give us six, which is enough. So let's, I think that one required, what did it require? Five pieces of this. Let's have a look. Um, uses. Yes, it's five. So let's make those up. We can actually do that in ourselves, of course. We need five of these. So let's just put those in. Does that work? No, it doesn't work. I need stone, don't I? And I need some more of the powder. Stone, stone, this is this one. So I might as well craft this up. Push those. I, don't, I think it's probably shapeless crafting. And a. What am I looking for? Bone meal and yes, powder, of course. Indeed, it is white marble. So then we can make use, use of that one. And we can make this one. So we've got a tombstone. I don't know whether I'm a small cemetery. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I don't know whether it makes any difference. What I'm going to do is just put this outside the walls here. Let's put the grave down here somewhere. I don't suppose it makes any difference whatsoever. I can label it an anvil, but this will then, over and over time, will get some particle effects on it. And when it's got particle effects on it, we can then use the um, those tombstone those those tablets. And then we can teleport to places. So, while that's doing that, I was going to do the next thing was the bucket, wasn't I? The bucket should now we've got enough latex in the or latex in the in the machine. We can make the next machine. I would like to make. Right here, you see, is oh, I just right clicked it with the bucket, and of course, it's given me everything. You see, now there's. It was full of latex, now latex, and we've now got this one. So we can now craft the second of the machines, which is an important one, because that's the one, the one that fit, uh, really allows you to get on with um, all of Industry 4 going. So now we would like to have a look at look, the uses of that one. We can just simply, what am I missing? I've got, I should have, oh, of course, I put everything in here, didn't I? <laughs> Can I get everything back into my inventory? No, but I've probably got enough of it. So let's have a go if we can do that one. Um, uses. So it's the only recipe. So can we make the LaTeX processing unit? Now we get a buckets back again, which is also good. In fact, I'll just shift click that into here to get rid of anything in there. Um, so many eggs, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Put them in here for the time being. Get rid of them out of the way. I'll put the ender pearls in here. So now let's get on and do this. The next machine, the next machine we need to make sort of pallets. And there's quite a lot of pallets we need to make for this. And what we'll do is I'll just put the this machine down here like that. It also needs power, so we can put the tier two solar panel on it, and that'll be it'll be enough, strangely enough. So that's that one. And then we need to push. So here we've got latex, and here we've got working area. So the working area is tiny, it's just in front of it, but the latex we can hear. So we want to push it to the right, so we just click push, and this should start to go down. Is it right or is it left? Let's have a look. Have I got this machine the right way around, even? <laughs> I think I should have. Let's have a look. So, oh, it needs, this one needs water as well. Okay, yes. Um... So it's getting the power and the output. So latex should come in on the left hand side. I think it's the left hand side. I'll tell you what, just in case I got this wrong, it doesn't look like it's been moved out. We'll just push it on the left and push it this side. Oh yes. Okay, so so that's the right Of course it's the right hand side. No, it's the left hand side. Don't ask me why. Oh that must be the way I'm facing, so it must be this way. So that's now got in it some latex, 262, but no water. So next we have to make a water generator. And I think there's a good recipe for water generators. I've forgotten about it, to be honest with you, so I'll see. So I think it will probably be industrial foregoing again. What's this one? A water condenser. So for that we do need plastic. 
So in that case, I need to put, we need two sheets of plastic. These are basically made from, we need 18 of these dry rubber pellets to make what, one of these. I think that's, there might be another water generator in here. In the pack. Let's have a look. A mob filter, nope. It was just the water condenser I was doing last time, I can't remember. But it looks like the one we've got to do. So we need to make some, we need to get some water in here. It says actually power is also optional on that one. So we need to then basically put some water into the, so what we'll do is just do it like this and put some water into that machine. And I think it uses quite a lot of water. I think you can just right click on it. Yeah, we can. Let's have a look. I don't want to use this. If I do it again, it'll take the water bucket out. So we've got our first tiny pellet in here. So we need 18 of those. So I'm going to have to do this 18. And I think it requires about four water per pellet or something like that. It's quite a lot. Tell you what, I'll fill this up. When I've got the 18 pellets, I'll come back again. Well, this is going to take a bit of time. <laughs> so while that's happening, we'll do something else. I want to need to wait for it. In fact, it was a night time and I also had found a few more mobs to grind as they were because I didn't, well, actually only in the morning when I went after I woke up. So let's have a look. You see, I picked down dark marble. I'll get rid of that one. I'll put it in the stone chest up here, I think. And we'll just get rid of it, empty out my mob drop place. And also this one. In fact, I could put, probably put that into there. It gets a bit full. So what we can do, of course, is to do the upgrades on the barrels. So to do a wooden upgrade on a barrel, we need four of four pieces of iron plus a plank. I think we need. Have we got any planks in here? No. Oh, uh -oh we got a new trader just coming around. We can probably have a chat to him these days. I've got almost enough emeralds to do the next decent trade. I need one more. Where's he gone to? It's always one of these distractions you get. There he is. What well, would be good if you could give me any melon seeds? So you can get these <laughs> leggings, Berserker's Fury, Mendering Protection 5 and Breaking 5 for 40 emeralds. I've actually got 39 and they've got another to get a skeleton head off him. Cyanide is wasted time and <laughs> these are basically also wasted time. But that might be quite an interesting one. I'm not sure if I want to do it or not. Whoops. But if we do, we just quickly whip over to the village. And see that one. Now, what was I going to do? I was going to do the upgrade on that, wasn't the planks. So, I think the upgrade is simply as four pieces of iron round here like that. That'll give you an, ar um, an iron barrel upgrade. But I've got a feeling that you can also do it with four pieces of gold as well. And that might, have I got that gold in here? I haven't got any smelted at the moment. Let's get four pieces smelted. Let's put it in this furnace here. Everything goes really fast in this furnace. I think we can do a straightforward double upgrade in one go. I'm not sure. We'll see. I could even look it up in the JEI because I'm not sure what position the, the iron needs to be. I guess I would put it like this. The, the iron goes around here and that goes in the middle. No, but it might be that it works this way around. No, it doesn't. So we then, if you do this, get rid of those. That should give us an iron to gold barrel update upgrade. So we need another piece of iron out of here. And then we can, oh no, I don't, I need another piece of, don't know what I need actually. I've got enough. I thought we hadn't got enough. So I wanted a piece of wood, that's right. And then we just do it across of iron. will give us the wood to iron and then the iron to gold. And then what you have to do with these, shift right click them onto, onto a thing. It's fairly straightforward, but I haven't done this for a while. So this is wood to iron, that will basically double the inventory space. And then iron to gold will then treble the inventory space, I think. 
Yes. So there's plenty of room in here now for other items. And it's a lot cheaper than doing um, chests because you'd need eight pieces of... I think I covered that before in one of the previous episodes. Eight pieces of gold, uh, eight pieces of something or the eight gold or whatever. Let's get rid of, I think I've got a place for armour. Here we go, let's get rid of it in here for the time being. <laughs> I've actually got the same again, boots and chest plates. But this one's got, and not bad as it happens, production three and that one. But unlikely to be using gold armour anymore because we've already gone past that. So what I want to do is a quick look at the... Let's have a look over here before I carry on. See if this this tombstone is, done, is doing its stuff yet. No, it's not. It should have a particle effect. But it, may, it takes about half an hour, I think, at night time. We haven't had half an hour's night time yet. These chickens. <laughs> look at all these eggs in here. Obviously... If, with so many seeds and whatever else, I can easily do that as well. So let's get rid of these. Yeah, I don't even know how you got in there. Talking to that. In fact, I could easily breed chickens with. There we go. In fact, I didn't actually have any chickens at all. Let's get the seeds out. I'll get some more. Baby's going in that way. Right. And then we'll have enough chickens that can start doing some slaughtering of chickens to get the feathers. So that's what my goal for that is. And the reason we're doing that, let's have a look at that next, is for the mob grinder. The mob grinder is from, I think it's Dark Utilities. The Dark Utilities are all of these items in here. And this is the one, an ender hopper. So this one is obsidian, uh, a filter hopper, and eye of ender. I can't do that yet because I've got to go to the nether. Ah, great. <laughs> and But you've also got this uh, slumming trap. You have a trap which will kill the mobs. Player damage trap. I've forgotten which it, what it's called. Disorientation. That was the ender hopper item great probably need to make one of those magma cubes that and these are all mob filters so there's for example there's a mob filter player so you can basically filter mobs through players it's actually useful because what it allows you to do is it allows players to go through this filter so all we need is some fences some stone uh, and a gold pickaxe nothing's particularly difficult there but first of all what i'd like to do is to get them the one that damages the mobs. I thought it was... I can't see it. Because what you've got here is blank plates. We need to make these. You've got vector plates. In fact, it's not dark utilities, I don't think. So glass slime, eggs. Oh, it's different types of vector plates. There is a... Um, what do they call it? Tell you what we can do. We can look for feathers. We can look at the uses of feathers because I know we need lots of feathers. So look at the uses for this. So this is the one we want to make the pusher from restrictions. So we need four feather, four redstone, and a piston. Right, okay, piston's not too difficult. And what I'd like to make is about 16 of those. Interesting, you can also make diamond arrows. Increases damages, pierces one target. Archer's Paradox. I've not seen that before. And it's night time because we can hear the uh, <laughs> the travelling trader having a sleep. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to build that in this area here. To mind it all out. Clear it all out and mind out the space. So what I'm going to do is put down one of those. Let's go and do that. That'll probably be a good start. Wouldn't it? What have we got in here? Yeah, I've got just cobblestone and stuff in there, haven't I? I also got some rock root. I don't know where that came from. Let's get rid of those. Put them upstairs and put them away. I think flints will... Oh, yes, everything disappeared into there. So we've got... That was nice. Stone I can put into this chest over here. And I've got some 
raw beef which we can cook makes better food and I've got some clay let's put the clay away as well I think clay goes in this one of these here we go like that so now we've got a bit of space in fact I've got wheat which should also go into the bag here let's get rid of the wheat yeah that's good so a bit more inventory space not too bad at the moment inventory management so what was I going to do um, probably have a quick sleep I'll see you in a second well I ran out of time I've got these uh, 21 tiny uh, and shift didn't work on those tiny dry rubbers so we can make that let's do it because I know I'm out of time I'm well over the, I'm well over my 35 minutes is what I'd like to do so we can basically put these down like that'll make our two dry rubbers which we can then shove through the, the furnace here fairly quickly and get the two plastic pieces we get our plastic so we can now from that make our first machine and the next machine I'm going to make is the water condenser let's make the water condenser um, probably just doing condenser might be the fastest way to find it. Where's it gone to? Can't. Oh, there we go. So, what do we need? Two pistons, pretty machine frame. I need basically everything. Tell you what, I'm, I really am out of time, so we'll come back next time. So, next time, I'd like to complete that machine. I think I'll do that next time. And I'll also do get the um the mob farm built i can do a little bit so we can do some manual i'll do that between episodes so until then i wish you all the best bye for now